Hello, welcome back to some uh, Destiny. Uh, today I'm going to play um, one of the story missions. Um, you'll see which one in just a second. Um, I can't remember what number I'm on actually. Uh, is it 16? I thought it was. I thought I was on 17. Uh, must be. Must be that one. Um. Yeah, anyway, I was going to play a raid, um, but uh, for some reason it wouldn't let me join in with randoms. I must be doing it wrong, because uh, that would be stupid not to be able to just join a random people to play a raid, and you have to get your own group of people together, because I basically don't have any friends that are playing this game. Deep in their war base, the Cabal are sitting on a Vex Spire that connects to the Black Garden Gate. We free that Spire, we can charge the Eye. We'll be hitting the Cabal where they're strongest, so I hope you're ready for war. Oh yeah. And we're there. Wait. There we go. New mission. Here we go. Fight our way into the war base. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I must be doing it wrong because there's no way they would, you would have to get a group of friends together to actually play it. Because, like I said, there's lots of people who don't have people who are playing this game. Um, but I, I, I'll uh, I'll double check all that some other time and do an, a raid then. Um, for now, we'll do a, just get on uh, with the story. Now, can I collect those? Are they dead? Let's have a look. Nope. Nope. Just back on them. Um, yeah, um, people have been complaining, reviewers complaining about this story not being very good for um, Destiny. Now, oh, hello. Here are the bad guys. Ooh, that looks like... There's someone else raid, uh, attacking there, so hopefully he should have killed a lot of the uh, enemies off. Anyway, uh, yeah, reviewers are complaining about the story not being very good. Uh, and basically, I just think that's a bit unfair, really. Um, mainly because... Um, uh, well, because it is a, it's a shooter... How many shooters have uh, that are you know just pretty much pure shooters have a, have a great storyline? Not not that many. I mean, it is hard to come up with um, a goodness a good enough story uh, where the basic aim of the game uh, basically you just go around uh, have an excuse to go around shooting people in the face. So that's that's pretty hard to come up with a good original uh, storyline from that. Um, and then on top of that, it is an R uh, online RPG, pretty much. Um, so yeah, it is very difficult to make a good story from that. Uh, and I think they did quite a good, quite a good job, to be honest. Um, it could have been better, obviously, I suppose. Um, uh, like, the main thing about this is the storyline isn't really... Um, uh, isn't really uh, engaging me enough to uh, make me really, really want to play this game. I'll scan for a good vantage point. Oh, there they are. Hello. Um, but but the um, the world kind of universe it's set in is really interesting, and that's what kind of brings me back into playing this game. And obviously, the combat is awesome. Um, now, obviously. I never got around to uh, playing uh, the Halo series uh, because I've had a PS3, uh, and I can understand why they, why Xbox fan, uh, fanboys used to throw it in our face that we didn't have uh, Halo. Uh, but, uh, but I, d I don't think I was missing too much because um, this isn't. I love these games, but at the same time, I'm not. I'm not like, oh no, I've missed out on this this uh, this type of game either. Oh, he's tough. Come on. 
Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, this gun would be. Whoa. This gun would be just unstoppable if it had a few more uh, bullets in the in the magazine and hit a little bit harder, if a tiny bit. It's it does quite a lot of damage. It's awesome, uh, but yeah, like I said, the magazine runs out far too quickly. Just enough for that guy. He does re it does reload pretty damn quickly, to be fair. But it could do a few more bullets in the magazine. Nice headshot. That's a, yeah, a bounty I collected. Um, that could get me some extra XP. That would be awesome. Uh, I'm probably going to keep this video quite short, to be honest. Um, I could... Uh, I could probably do uh, within a normal one of my normal time kind of uh, time frames. I could probably do two story missions, but I'm not going to risk not going to risk it. I don't want to make it too long. I mean, it can drag a bit because, like I said, the story isn't that amazing. Um, you're just getting told a small smidget of information beforehand, and then pretty much you just go around shooting people, and that's pretty much. It um, so it it probably be a little bit too boring um, for me to do a, like a forty minute episode of just this. So I'm going to keep it nice and short. Hopefully it won't take up forty minutes like I just said I wouldn't. But I'm making fast progress. Where is he? There he is. Down. Yeah, I guess one thing about this, another good thing about the game is the designs. Everything looks all pretty damn awesome, to be honest. From the enemies to the uh, armor and weapons you pick up, all pretty awesome looking. Assault the tower. Observation tower overhead. There's bound to be a way to locate the spire there. Headshot. Ooh. And that and this sniper rifle's damn awesome too. Does so much damage. Nah, let's just let's just go in for it. Oh, hold on. Hello. Wow. Two shot at that guy. Nice. Oh I missed. Let's just go in there. These guys are pretty damn easy, but... Oh, hello. Awesome. Down in one... In one magazine. I didn't need to even need to reload. Nice. Oh, hello. All pretty easy and pretty standard right now. Maybe I should up the difficulty level. Um, Let's try that terminal. Like I said, uh, I'm so behind on the story. I'm like level 27, and this is level 17 story. This is level 17 story. Uh, I got it. It's on the other side of another defense line. Of course it is. Of course. Um, well, if they didn't already know we're coming, they do now. Um, yeah. So I kind of just want to get on with it. Hence why I didn't do it at level 26. Uh, but maybe I should have, because it has been pretty damn easy so far. What's that? Mm, nothing. This pretty awesome looking area, I must say. Down. Oh, what's that? Something looks like I can collect that. Down. Down. Yeah, it's glowing, so I can pick it up. Uh, relic shard, nice. As Ascendant shard is what I need to upgrade some of my weapons. Uh, or is it armor? No, it's armor. 
I need those for. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a loot crate over there. So please be something good. Ugh, nothing really. Um, yeah. So I've been had these legendary uh, pieces of armor for ages, and I haven't been able to upgrade them because um, I haven't had the right uh, materials. But I don't know where to collect the materials. Oh, no, I know. Sh I should just look it up. But um, ascendant shards. If you know where they are. Uh, write in the comments, that'd be awesome. But uh, yes, I should just look it up, but I can't be bothered, to be honest. Uh, uh, no matter how, I have been quite addicted to this game, and I'm going to be probably playing it for quite for a little while longer, but I am actually starting to get a little bit bored. Um, uh, like I said, I think it's due to. Uh, fact that how um, maybe I should just try to get some get some friends who I can play regularly with because I think that would just make it so much better if you have friends to join up with and do matches and strikes and stuff with uh, it would be it would be a lot better but um, it's the problem is trying to make friends with uh, people just on playing this game is um, obviously you need a microphone really uh, and I tend to forget to plug mine in. Um, I do have one, but... Uh oh uh, I think they just invited us in. Oh, I remember this map. This is like, um... for one of the strikes I do. Feels like a trap. It's because it is. Damn. Hmm. Ah, uh, too easy. But yeah, like I said, some people take these type of games far too seriously as well, and it's just like, I want, I want to have fun, and I want to level up, and all that kind of jazz. But I don't want to be taking it too seriously as well, because I did play. Uh, an RPG on uh, PC that for that I mean I played it for a couple years but um, I got really serious for like um, like six or seven months and I played it just non-stop and I was part of this and I joined a f my first guild I joined was pretty small and he kept demanding the, the guild leader was like demanding that I come and do certain stuff and it's just like oh, I just wanna I'm not really you know, I don't really want to be bossed around. It's not, I'm, you know, I go to work for that kind of thing. I just want to have a bit of a, f a fun and stuff. And you know, I will do certain things if I, uh, if I think I, you know, if they ask me to do something and I want to, actually, you know, it doesn't sound too bad to do it, and I, and it will help me. Then yes, sure, I'll definitely, uh, I'll do it. But if I don't think it's going to help me, and I don't, you know, don't want to. And I don't think it's going to be much fun, then I'm not going to do it, you know. Uh, so yeah, I did. I did play that for like six months, and it did take up my life. Oh god, this is actually getting really, actually quite. I'm going to die here, aren't I? Just go away. Where's that come from? Ooh, ooh, I'm back to full health now, almost. Ow. Ooh, this is this is this is a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Heavy weapon ammo. Okay, I'll get to work on this door. Finally. Oh, only twenty-three ammo. I, when I do missions, I tend to save, save my heavy ammo, uh, and then I tend to not actually end up using it because I've, just in case I find someone harder to beat and I don't use it in the end. Just like a lot of things. I've got a load of uh, infantry items that all will help me level, gain gain more experience and stuff, and I just keep forgetting to actually use them. Right, where am I supposed to be going? 
the, the directions on this can spaz out sometimes. It's really difficult to know where you're supposed to be going. I should be. I'm pretty close, close to the end by now, I think. Well, yesterday we got our first bit of snow for the whole entire year. Um, it just melted pretty much straight away, but it was nice to see it coming down. Um, the rest of the country seems to have got pretty good snow, um, but obviously, have to cross that bridge. Uh, and it'd be swarming with enemies, obviously. But yeah, the rest of the country's got nice, nice lot of snow. And ours melted immediately. There's still time, I suppose. There's still, still January. Still, um, we had quite deep, deep snow at the end of February, if five years ago or so. It's been a really mild winter here, actually. There's the spire. Nope. Of course there are going to be loads on here. Lots of headshots. Oh, I tried to take that, that guy out on the top there. So got a good uh, weapon there. Sweet, another bounty done. He's not firing at me. Why is he not firing at me? Makes things a easier at least, I suppose. Down he goes. Uh, I've been... <sighs> I've been uh, waiting for uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 to drop in price on the PS4. Um, eagerly waiting because I wanted to really want to play it now um, but it hasn't come down in price it's like oh come on it's been out for a fair while I mean it's been out on PS3 and uh, Xbox 360 for ages um, and uh, and yeah they've they've done a lot to it to bring it out on PS4 but it's been out a little while on PS, PS4 um, it's still full price. That's really nice. Nice use of a grenade there. Something's firing at me from there. There he is. Right, melee. And let's pick up that green armor or weapon. Done. Is a Highlander Type Three. That'll be sold straight away. Ooh, you handle the cabal. I'll wake the eye. We're here then. This must be the end of the mission. I guess that means boss time. Ooh. <laughs> Damn it, shield. He's hiding behind a dead body. Awesome. There, a conduit to the spire. Where? Get me close. Oh, it's behind me. I was just there two seconds ago, man. Could you not have told me when I was up there? Fills me with so much confidence. Oh, I recognise the voice now. It's uh, Tyrion Lannister from Games of Thrones. I knew someone mentioned it on a review or something, saying that he did was doing a voice here, of uh, a voice on Destiny. Um, but now, uh, now I definitely recognise it. Yeah, awesome. I am a big Games of Thrones fan, uh, which because I've probably mentioned it. A half a dozen times on other videos. Is that it? Done? Ah, uh oh, yeah, there we go, there's the boss. Wow, he's 
he's pretty awesome looking. But I've taken out almost half his health already. He's almost dead. Well, he's a bit of a wessy. Come on. And he's dead. And he didn't lay one shot on me. Right, time to take out you guys. And they, and they all died with him. Awesome. Oh, he ghost, ghost again. is charged. It's time to enter the Black Garden and finish this. Sweet. Let's have a quick look around. Oh. Oh, what's that? Revive dead ghosts. Yes. Awesome. Sweet. So there you go, guys. An extra little hint there for you. And dead, a dead ghost was hidden in that part there. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice. 126 kills. And. Oh, what's that? Ceremonial blade done. Right, let's go. Right, uh Just to see, have a quick look at what stuff I've got from that mission, and then call it a day, I think. Uh, weapon, get rid of that. Don't need that green stuff. Nope. Well, there you go, guys. Let's change things up a bit. My colour on my armour and stuff. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you join me for the next episode, which I'll, whatever I'll be playing. Uh, Crucible, probably. Or another story mission. Bye-bye.